All right, so I'm getting ready to watch episode five of season four of Attack on Titan. Uh, episode four left us with Aaron revealing himself to Reiner. Gotta admit, I was a little slow on that. When I watched back, I realized there were plenty of chances to pick up that that was Aaron, but I didn't. And then when I finally did see it, he's presenting himself to Reiner. I don't know why he did that or what's gonna happen there. I'm eager to see what happens, like how that plays out. It looks like it could go poorly for Aaron, but I don't know if this next episode will go straight to seeing what happens with that Aaron Reiner reunion, or if maybe we'll get one of those expository flashback episodes that lets us know what Aaron's been up to for like the last four years. Either way, I'm eager to get it started, so let's get to it. And right off the bat, this episode is given a graphic content warning that I've never seen on any other Attack on Titan episode. So is there something about this episode specifically that needed that warning? I don't know. But we see uh, Reiner and Bertolt and Annie all together back on Parody, I'd have to imagine. They're talking about something and they're kind of remembering back to Marcel. Oh, they're talking about the old man that hung himself again. The old man just wanted to be judged. But okay, now we're back. We're back with Aaron and Reiner backstage at Willie's play at the theater. And Falco doesn't know what's going on. Falco's almost as out of place here as I was in episode one of season four. Oh, wow. But it seems like kind of a civil reunion here. Nobody's raising their voice. But Reiner's eyes are vibrating. He's about to have some kind of breakdown. Oh, and now it goes into the OP. Wow. So I don't know what was going to happen there. Definitely has me intrigued. And now that we're in the OP, I just want to take a minute to remind everybody that I do have a Patreon. If you're watching this on Patreon, you rock. You're awesome. I appreciate it. But if you think you might be interested in checking out my Patreon and seeing what's going on there, there is a link in the video description. Declaration of War is the name of the episode. Okay, that's got me interested. Oh, maybe we'll get to see Willie's crazy play. Like I speculated that this play was going to be some kind of fiasco. And I'm also eager to see exactly what Willie has to say. I'm suspecting it's going to be like the true story of Helos or something. And we've got the foreign dignitaries there happy to uh, see Willie. Willie Tiber. So this lady... Uh, Maybe she has some kind of friendship with Willie here. Oh, it looks like he's actually an actor in the play. Oh, this could get real interesting. <laughs> Apparently his bravery, he has a reputation for bravery, Willie does. So this lady's wishing him luck. It's his stage debut. Not only did he write the play, but he's starring in it. Okay, backstage is where the real show is, right? So I do appreciate how calm... Reiner and Aaron's reunion is so far, but it also reminds me of like how sort of detached and cold it was when Reiner confessed to Aaron that he was the armored Titan too. Oh, this is interesting. It's a scratch on his hand, like, you know, the cut that they used to turn into a Titan, but he's not a Titan. And I think because they're below the stage, that means there's not enough room for either of them to turn into a Titan. So it's sort of a safe place where they can't go all tighten on each other. And he's telling Falco to stick around and learn a little something. Reiner's agreeing with Aaron here. Okay, so I'm kind of uh, intrigued by this foreign dignitary, this lady who had the kimono at the reception. Oh, Mr. Leonhardt! I guess that's Annie's dad. Ms. Braun, we're seeing the parents all... Uh, reuniting here with the red armbands because their children were shifters. Oh, Bertolt's father passed away, but he was proud of Bertolt. Yeah, he has confidence that Annie's not dead, and I don't think Annie's dead. She's still in her frozen cocoon. He has a great confidence that Annie will keep her word and come back. So this guy's expecting war to be declared on Paradis. And they did kind of talk like that might happen, but I think that they're all in for some kind of surprise. I think this is going to be some glorious catastrophe here. All the military, all the foreign dignitaries. It looks like the press is there. Yeah, they got a good crowd to really put on 
an extravaganza here. Yeah, take it some pride in the Tibers there because they're Eldians, even though they don't have to suffer the way other Eldians do. And here we have the overture from the orchestra pit. Oh, uh-oh, the warriors have been called by Magath or Magath. Are they going to have to miss the show? No. Everybody's excited for Willie's big show. Oh, the, the eyes have just shrunk down to pinpoints on Reiner there. He is holding in something, but I don't know what. If it's anguish or rage, he's definitely keeping his composure pretty well. And he's got questions. Why did you come here, Aaron? That's the same question I got. Oh, interesting. His answer is the same as you, Reiner. Oh, whoa. Reiner's not able to handle that. Oh, because I had no other choice. I like how Aaron's playing this game with Reiner, but it's almost not fair. Like, Reiner has had it. I mean, Aaron's life has been rough. Everybody in this world, their life has been rough. But Reiner, it's just not fair to really twist that knife in Reiner after some of the stuff I've seen him go through. Oh, and here the play starting, talking about the old Eldian Empire hundreds of years ago. I want to see what Willie's got in store for us. Running down the whole hoose. Ooh, Shadow Puppets. That's uh, That was CGI back in the day. Shadow Puppets. <laughs> I should do a big Shadow Puppet show. Oh, I love it. Oh, the gruesome actors with the fake blood. Talking about cultures wiped out by the Titans. So I'm feeling a little propaganda coming from Willie here. I'm not sure how true this story is. Oh, wow. Once the Eldians conquered all their enemies, they started fighting each other. Doesn't that sound like what I talked about comparing it to the Roman Empire? The Great Titan War. Two, really two Eldian factions fighting this war. So they're talking about eight of the nine Titans at war. Oh, here's Helos. Okay, so I was right. It is telling the story of Helos, but I expect some kind of reveal with that. Yeah, showing how they divided and conquered. Got the Eldians against each other. And then uh, the Tibers showed up just in time to betray the other Eldians and rise to prominence. Oh, talking about parody there. Oh, yeah, talking about all the Titans inside the walls. And, man, they have nice, big, imposing Titans on those shadow puppets. He's really playing it out like the imminent threat from Parody. I don't think he knows just how imminent it might be with a person from Parody down in the basement there. Oh, I'm going back to the story of the young warriors from nine years ago now, I guess. And they lost everybody but Rhina. Well, Zeke had to go in and kind of bail him out. So, yeah, Willie's really turned up the propaganda. I thought we were going to hear something different out of Willie. So far, we haven't had the big uh, shocking fiasco I expected. And Aaron's showing a level of understanding that seems new to that character. Okay, who is this in the helmet? I have a feeling like, could this be a four-year-older... Armin or something? Yeah, maybe that is Armin under that helmet that's leading them off. They've done their research, then who they're dealing with. Peak. Yeah, I've been told repeatedly to keep an eye on Peak, but maybe Peak is not the character I think she's going to be. Oh, they were the ones who ride the card Titan into war. That's kind of cool. You would get a special bond, I guess, after that. And we've got this guy up here kind of spying on everybody. Yeah, strange things are definitely afoot at the Circle K here. Yeah, I'm waiting to see the reveal of who's under that helmet. Like, maybe Armin got a lot taller. Oh, no! <laughs> Porco and Peak dumped in a well. Is that Armin? I can't think of who else it would be. Braun is very frightened of Aaron, you know, Reiner. He hasn't had the best experience with the time he spent entangled with Aaron. Okay, so now Falco's starting to do the math, starting to realize they met on Paradis. <laughs> He's an Eldian, a Paradis Eldian, a Paradis Eldian. Paradis Eldian, I like that, or Paradis Eldian. 
Oh, the Parody Island operation. Just kind of a recap on what we know about that. Okay, here's where the shocker's gonna come. He says, so far, I've told you what you know, but the truth is different. Here is the fabulous disaster, the beautiful disaster. Because he has the memories of the Warhammer Titan. I didn't even make that very obvious, simple connection there. So he has learned the truths of the Warhammer Titan. Oh, it was neither Helos nor the Tibers. They just took the credit. See, I thought that it might be that kind of thing, like the buffalo was already tame. He just shot it. So he's saying King Fritz was the real hero, the old King Fritz. He was tired of the fighting, and that goes back to that vow that gets passed down with the founding titan. And I wonder if some of that's starting to express itself in Aaron yet. He schemed with the Tiber family. They fabricated a hero. See, this is what I wanted, the big reveal. Shaking your belief in everything you know. Oh, he moved as many as he could, but there were so many that got left behind to suffer. Oh, no. And his plan only worked for 100 years. It sounds like that should have worked for 1,000. It was all a bluff. So the Warhammer Titan here, or I should say Tiber, knows a whole lot of uh, details that we kind of knew most of it, but we got some nice reveals here. Oh, wow. Telling him, come on, let's quit hating on Pear D. Something tells me they're not going to like that, though. It's gotten to be so much a way of life for them. They're not just going to accept his story as the offspring of a hero or the lineage of a hero. Oh, wow, no. This could be another twist. He's saying if we come to kill him, he'll just take it. Like, like the king of parody believes that they deserve to die. Oh, man. So is this propaganda to say all we got to do is just go kill him? They're not even going to fight back. Same last request that uh, Uri made to uh, Kenny there is what he mentioned from the original King Fritz. Wow. This is great. It was all a plan from the old King Fritz. He built the whole national identity of Marley, the Marley that hates parody so much. Wow. Wow. So that might be why the Tiber rule and the Fritz rule mirrors each other so much, because they were doing this hand in hand, creating this sham. Oh, but now that the world is in great peril, he has to share this universal truth. The problem is, will people believe him? And will I believe him? Okay, so they've noticed some of these people have gone missing. The Titans that have gone missing. Cart Titan, Jaw Titan. I don't know where Zeke is right now. I do know where Reiner is. Oh, wow. Pit designed just to restrain Titans. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen him use this kind of thing before. I think that scrawny soldier's got to be Armin. We need another reveal. Peek feels like she's seen him before because she was the duck face titan. She saw him, but he was grown since then. He's been eating lots of potatoes with Sasha, so he's grown tall. All right. Let's see the big twist here after this revelation to the world. Telling them about the... I, it's hard for me to believe that there's actually tens of millions of colossal titans in those walls. Like, there's a lot of walls, but 10 million of anything is a lot. 10 million colossal titans, it just sounds unreasonable. Oh, so now the angle is because Grisha stole the founding titan. You can't count on peace anymore. You can't count on King Fritz's good intentions. Oh, no. Aaron Yeager, they even know Aaron's name? How does Tiber know this name? I guess he probably got information from Zeke and Reiner, right? Falco feels tricked by Aaron. Yeah, be prepared for lots of trickery from Aaron, I have a feeling. I have a feeling like it's an all's fair and love and war kind of situation with Aaron right now. Oh, those were letters to like his, his uh, co-conspirators, weren't they? <laughs> yes, to people like Jean. And probably Sasha and Connie and Mikasa and Levi. Yes. Hanji. <laughs> now Reiner's worried knowing that uh, some other old familiar faces are lurking around. 
So Tiber is using this idea that the founding Titans been stolen by Aaron Yeager as a reason that for self-defense, we've got to conquer parody because he can't be trusted like the Fritz bloodline can. Oh, I did not see it going in quite this angle. They're on a nonstop pathway for war. And he's right because Aaron, the last I saw Aaron speaking in season three, he was ready to destroy all of his enemies and stop number one is going to be Marley, right? Man, I didn't know they were all colossal titans. That is crazy. Oh, Aaron is even identifying himself as the bad guy. Like, you need a villain. Is he the new Kenny? Oh, everybody's somebody's bad guy. I like what he just said there. Yeah, I mean, they very much were the bad guys to him. He's got this new perspective, learning more about Dinah. Oh, what a question. Reiner, why was my mom eaten by a titan? Because you broke a hole in the gate? Yeah. Reiner's owning it. Poor Reiner, man. I'm really feeling unexpected sympathy for Reiner in this moment, way more than I expected. Like, I don't even understand my own emotions in this moment. But I'm like, I guess from what I've seen in the last four episodes, I'm just feeling so much more sympathy towards Reiner in this moment. They both want to save the world. The question is, which world will get saved? For one world to be saved, another must be destroyed, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's got a horrible quote for uh, Aaron there. Oh, maybe Aaron's had a change of heart. He's talking about when he saw everyone on the other side of the sea as his enemy, then he crossed the sea. And he got to know the people, just like Reiner got to know the people of Parody, the Parody Zeldians. Yeah, they're the same, just moving in different directions. Oh, wow. Some personal growth for Aaron there. I wasn't expecting personal growth, Aaron Yeager, but I'm liking it. Yeah, Aaron's gotten a pretty good grasp for uh, the Eldian existence in Marley, too. Yeah, Aaron is able to identify how Reiner's own conflicted feelings are eating away at him. Oh, wow, what's Reiner's, like, down on his hands and knees? Oh, wow, and Reiner's talking about when Marcel was eaten, and he's the one who kept the mission going. He's putting so much blame on himself, but something tells me Annie wasn't that easily told what to do. She kind of did what she needed or wanted to do, I think. Yeah, he did have that inferior already complex when he found out he was only chosen to be the armored titan through a deceptive means from Marcel. Reiner's self-loathing here is just almost unbearable for me. Aaron's gained insight. Reiner's self-loathing has gotten the best of him. He's ready to die. He's like sacrificing himself. Remember, it wasn't that long ago when we saw Aaron just ready to let his story eat him. And then Tiber's still going on. He wants to unite the whole world against parody. World War parody. But I guess the one trump card up their sleeve, the little trick they have left to play is if they get Reiner here, they've got all the Titans except Zeke, right? All the shifters, I mean, except Zeke. So what would it take to get Zeke? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, Aaron's pointing out to him how he's gone through all these same conflicting emotions and self-loathing that he's seeing happen. Whoa. So are we seeing, like, some kind of uh, reconciliation between Reiner and Aaron? Is Reiner, like... Using diplomacy, I mean, Aaron using diplomacy to get Reiner on the same side as him rather than violence. And what is this? What is this? What did he just do? Did he figure out something with the founding Titan power or is he just transforming himself? Yeah, he just transformed himself with that cut in his hand. I don't know. He's learned how to delay it or something, how to do it at will a little bit better. Apparently, he's been practicing the past four years, but wow, turning into the attack Titan Right there. Oh, and he's gobbling down Reiner. Wait, wait. No, that's Tiber. Is he going to gobble down the Warhammer Titan? Oh, wow. Talk about becoming an OP Titan shifter. 
My goodness, Aaron, you take the Warhammer Titan on top of the Attack Titan and the Founding Titan. Hopefully, you know, you get Reiner working with you and together you try to make some kind of lasting piece here. I like it. You've got Peak and you've got Porco, who I don't care for that much, in your control. The only thing out there, though, is Zeke. And Zeke is a whole lot of something to be out there. My goodness, I had a couple of ideas on which way this episode would go. We didn't see much of the backstory on Aaron, but we did get to see how things would unfold between Aaron and Reiner. And I like how soft and conversative, is that even a word? Conversational, I guess is the word, things were between the two. How incredibly calm Aaron seemed to remain and how reasonable that conversation went down and how they really did identify with one another. And he didn't, I don't feel like Aaron went too far out of his way to hurt Reiner in that moment. So I respect that. But all in all, just this season has continued to be great. I have loved it. I don't mind the uh, transition and animation. And I'm not nearly as lost by episode five as I was in one. And with that, I just want to say I'm proud of you for watching anime. And I'll talk to you again soon. I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. I really do appreciate it. If you might be interested in supporting the channel on Patreon, there is a link in the video description. Feel free to take a look around, see some of the uncut reaction videos, as well as early access to both reaction and review videos, and the occasional bonus video.